President Joe Biden has long believed diplomacy is about personal relationships, and he'll spend Friday in Berlin with German Chancellor Olaf Scholz as his time in office is on the cusp of ending. There is also a planned meeting with other leaders in the European Quad, a group that in addition to Biden and Scholz includes French President Emmanuel Macron and British Prime Minister Keir Starmer. White House Press Secretary Karine Jean-Pierre described Biden as having a close relationship with Scholz, who early this year helped broker a multi-country prisoner swap that brought back to the United States the journalist Evan Gershkovich and former Marine Paul Whelan. The German leader told Biden before the deal in words to the effect, for you, I will do this. But Biden's whirlwind trip starting on Thursday is hardly just a social visit. The United States and Germany have been the largest two sources of aid to Ukraine as it fights to repel a Russian invasion. And with less than three weeks before the US presidential election, Biden also feels obligated to ready allies for the possible return to the White House of Republican Donald Trump, who has antagonized US friends while displaying an appreciation for Russian President Vladimir Putin. The administration said Biden has no plans while in Europe to meet with Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky, but the two spoke on Wednesday about additional military aid, with the White House announcing $425 million in assistance, bringing the total support to more than $64 billion over two and a half years. In addition to Ukraine, Biden and Scholz plan to discuss European Union relations, democratic values, trade and technology issues, global supply chains, tensions in the Middle East and security issues in the Indo-Pacific region. While in Germany, Biden will also meet with its president, Frank-Walter Steinmeier. Earlier this month, the US president had delayed a trip planned to Germany and Angola in order to oversee relief efforts ahead of Hurricane Milton making landfall in Florida. He now plans to go to Angola in December. Mr. President, Mr. Donald, sir, Donald Trump says, sir, Donald Trump says Paris is the worst vice president in history. Is it going to stay for her not to go to hell?